Hello. Today we continue our discussion of separation of variables for second order linear PDEs. We will be concerned today with the non homogeneous case and we will discuss it on an example of the non homogeneous wave equation. Let us recall what we did in the homogeneous case of the wave equation. In a particular case of the wave equation with c equal 1 and with the boundary conditions in which L is equal to 1. So this was for x between 0 and L which is 1, t greater than 0. This is for every t greater than or equal to 0. And then this initial condition at t equals 0 saying that the function u at every point x is equal to a given function f of x and its time derivative given to the function g of x and this is for every x between 0 and 1 right so the situation on xt plane looked like this here is x equal 0 here is x equal to 1 here are our boundaries here the value of the x derivative of a function is equal to 0 as well as well as here and the initial condition is given on t equals 0 line and it is that it says that u of x 0 is equal to a given function f of x and its time derivative is equal to a given function g of x. We are looking for a solution here and we solved this problem last time postulating a solution in terms of separation of variables and then we have shown that this equation imposes two ODEs that the functions t and x must satisfy and we argued that there is a constant lambda involved here. Now the boundary conditions imposed conditions on function x that x prime of 0 must be equal to x prime of 1 at 0 and this function x was supposed to satisfy an ODE like this with this boundary condition. And since it is this equation that is affected by the boundary conditions, this equation is called eigenvalue equation for the problem. And the constant lambda is called its eigenvalue. And then we have shown that not every lambda is possible. Actually, we have shown that, as physicists say, lambda is quantized. So natural numbers are involved here. We can put it starting from zero. And for each such lambda, there is a corresponding solution, xn, to this equation, which is cosine n pi x okay and now we have shown that the general solution of this problem can be obtained in terms of these eigenfunctions of this equation with these eigenvalues and that it's this solution can be written as t0 of t plus sum from n equal 1 to infinity tn of t and here is cosine n pi x where we have found explicitly how these functions t0 and tn look like so this was this was an idea of Fourier that the generalized solution to this problem should be written like this and in the 
In homogeneous case, it was shown that such generalized solution has these functions t0 and tn determined uniquely. So we will use this advice of Fourier how to solve wave equation with some non-homogeneity. So the idea solve the eigenvalue equation for the homogeneous problem and look for a solution for the non-homogeneous problem in the form star. But now, since the equation will be inhomogeneous, these coefficients, these functions t0 of t or t end of t should be different than in the homogeneous case. So let's see how this idea works on a particular example. So example, and we consider the following PDE. So its homogeneous parts is just like in the wave equation, but it has some inhomogeneity depending on time and x. And let's say that this particular one, which is equal to cosine 2 pi x, cosine 2 pi t. And we want to find u satisfying this equation in the area x uh, greater than 0 and smaller than 1 for t greater than 0 when we have boundary conditions u sub x of 0 t equal u sub x of 1 t equal to 0 and initial conditions at t equal 0 will be some given function f of x which in our case will be cosine squared by x and u sub t at x equals 0 we will have again some particular function which we choose to be 2 cosine 2 pi x okay and this is for x between 0 and 1 and this for t greater than or equal to 0. So we want to solve such a such a such a problem. So the homogeneous part of this equation is as before. So we take this eigen functions of the eigen value equation, which remember was this, and we take the eigen functions to be as they should cosine and pi x and now we postulate a solution to this problem in the form u of x of t t0 of t plus sum from n equal 1 to infinity of t n of t cosine n pi x and we hope that the conditions that are here Will enable us to determine these unknown functions of t. Okay, so that's our postulated solution to our problem. And now let us impose on it our non homogeneous wave equation and we will see what this tells us about these unknowns. So we first have to calculate second time derivative of this which will give us t0 dot plus sum from n equal 1 to infinity tn double dot cosine n pi x and now we have to calculate second partial with respect to x second partial with respect to x of cosine is negative cosine so there we plus here sum from n equal 1 to infinity tn and then the chain rule is produced here n pi squared and there will be cosine n pi x again here so that's the left hand side 
That's what the left hand side of the wave equation tells us. And this is supposed to be equal to cosine 2 pi x cosine 2 pi t, right? So now observe that on the right hand side there is a term like terms standing here, here, because it is a cosine of 2 pi x times some known function of time. So somehow we can write now this equation term by term, excluding for a moment n equal 2, because we want to take this term with n equal 2 together with the term here. So what we will have, we will have that this equation is equivalent to t0 double dot plus sum from n equal 1 to infinity, but for a moment we just will be omitting n equal 2. Then there will be t double dot n, then there will be plus n pi squared tn and then there will be cosine n pi x okay and now there will be still one more term which is just plus which, which corresponds to n equal to so there will be t double dot 2 plus n is equal to so 4 pi squared 4 pi squared t2 and now there will be negative cosine 2 pi t here times cosine 2 pi x equals 0 that's that's what our non-homogeneous wave equation tells us about t0 and tn they should satisfy this equation so then this equation will be satisfied in particular if we solve it term by term so this equation is satisfied when t double dot zero is equal zero t double dot n plus n squared pi squared tn is equal zero for n equal one three four five up to infinity and then t double dot two plus four pi squared t two minus cosine 2 pi t is equal 0. Okay, so this is a system of infinite number of ODEs for the functions tn, where n goes from 0, 1 to infinity. Okay, the first equation solves to t0 equal constant let's call it a0 by 2 plus constant let's call it b0 by 2 t the infinite number of equations like this is solved in terms of a function tn being a n cosine n pi t plus b n sine n pi t for n equal 1, 3, 4, 5 and so on and eventually for t2 one can solve this second order ODE with constant coefficients which is inhomogeneous obtaining a2 cosine 2 pi T plus B2 sine 2 pi T plus T 
divided by 4 pi sine 2 pi t. So writing it all together, we get that our solution for u of x of t is equal to a0 by 2 plus sum from n equal 1 to infinity but n not equal to 2 by a n cosine n pi t plus b n sine n pi t times cosine n pi x plus this term, this last term corresponding to n equal 2 So this is a solution of the wave equation satisfying the boundary conditions and now we want this solution to satisfy our initial conditions and by imposing these initial conditions which are u of x zero equals f of x which is cosine squared pi x and u sub t of x of 0 which in our case we want that it will be 2 cosine 2 pi x okay so now by imposing the initial conditions on this postulated solution we hope to determine a0 b0 a n b n in particular a2 and b2 right so how to do it we do it as follows we just insert t equals zero to the postulated solution so we want to compare this thing with this thing which is u of x and we insert t equals zero in here obtaining a0 divided by 2 plus sum from n equal 1 to infinity but n not equal to 2 and now a n cosine n pi x plus the term related to a2 which will be a2 cosine 2 pi x okay likewise we want to compare this one with u sub t x at 0 so this will give us b0 divided by 2 here there will be non-zero terms will be coming when t derivative hits this term producing cosine here so there will be sum from n equal 1 to infinity but n not equal to 2 by bn n pi and now cosine n pi x and now when time derivative hits this so when time derivative hits this then it will again produce the term from here which is just b2 times 2 pi and now when time derivative hits this one this will be zero only when and it will hit this one it also will be zero right so here we'll have cosine 2 pi x okay so now we want to compare this with that and this with that so we now use our usual arb trick that cosine square pi x is equal one half plus one half cosine two pi x making this thing precisely in the form of sum of cosines of multiplication of pi x and from comparing this with that we get the a zero is equal one 
that a2 is equal to one half and all the other ans are equal zero or n is equal one three four and so on okay so in this way we found all a's by using the first comparison and then comparing the second one we see that this thing is already in terms of a sum of cosines of multiple of pi x so only this term will find his counterpart here so there will be b0 must be equal 0 and bn must be equal 0 for all n not equal to 2 and when n is equal to 2 this thing must be equal to that thing which means that b2 is equal 1 over pi so by comparing this with that we determined all b's so in other words our solution u of x of t inserting all of this gives us one half plus one half cosine two pi t plus t plus four divided by four pi sine two pi t times cosine two pi x and one can check that this is a solution of our boundary value initial value problem for the inhomogeneous wave equation as in our example and what is nice here is that actually this solution that we first thought that it will be just infinite series is just made in a finite number of conditions of cosines of multiplication of pi x so therefore this solution is a classical solution what is interesting here is that this solution grows linearly with time so it grows like up to infinity 